this verse. This is kind of the, just the real heart behind Shelter and Rain. Um, Psalm 68, 6. To the fatherless, he is a father. To the widow, he is a champion friend. To the lonely, he gives a family. To the prisoners, he leads into prosperity until they sing for joy. This is our holy God in his holy place. And so, um, Shelter and Rain. Um, I don't know if we have a, okay, great, we do. The web, um, website is underneath and the logo. So, um, Shelter and Rain was really birthed out of um, a journey that I had been on um, with the Lord. And I had some friends pray for me one time, and this was um, several, several years ago. And they said, I see this place of, like, shelter. Shelter, it was actually, like, a cave, and it's, there's protection, um, refreshment, and there's this bridge between you and this dry place, and you're meant to bring those who are in this place of dryness where they're like, I don't know if this is going to work, or just this place of hopelessness into a place of abundance and life. So when we were creating a logo for Shelter and Rain, we thought, you know what, this idea of, a, of an umbrella of protection, but then the woman with her hand extended is receiving um, refreshment. So really our heart is freedom, protection, and restoration for those in human trafficking and the commercial sex industry. So we um, have been on a journey. I uh, lived in Thailand for a year, actually for 16 months, um, and worked with a nonprofit there called Night Nightlight International, um, and that's actually where I met my husband. So he's originally from Salina, Kansas, and I'm originally from California. And so we met, and then in 2011 moved to Salina. Um, when we moved there, you know, living overseas, you see uh, human trafficking is very blatantly in your face. You walk down the street, and you can see um, just you know, the women and then the clients just walking in. It's, it's in your face. And coming to the States, I was like, what does it look like? Um, and as we started to ask the question, you know, is human trafficking happening here in Kansas? People were like, oh, no, surely not, you know. Um, yeah, we have, you know, maybe a drug issue, but we don't have human trafficking. Well, so it started this journey for us of really raising awareness. And um, since then, it we have seen just a huge response, not only in Salina, but now that we're here in Wichita, um, and yet we still have these places that um, where exploitation is happening. And so our heart um, is to go to these places of darkness and to bring the light of God's love into these places. So we have an outreach that we do here um, in Wichita. And uh, we go out once a month um, to two clubs here. And we actually went out last night. And we have experienced so much favor. Um, I want to say, like, the club that we go to in Salina is very resistant. Um, we actually tried to make a first contact on Wednesday night, and they told us, no, we can't come in at this point. So we're praying, and we're going to return in a couple months. Um, but this desire that we have to, to go, um, we have just, we've been met with so much favor from the club manager. Um, I have, a, there's a table out on the back, and I want to introduce, um, so my husband's here, and then we also 